Good evening and assalamu alaikum everyone. I would like to talk to you again and read from John's Gospel, Johanna Ginjil. It is the beloved who wrote this in the first century. It's not made up by the church, it is scripture, a historic document. And today we continue to read in the fourth chapter about the second healing, which Jesus did from a distance. He loves you, he cares for you, he knows you, he is God in human flesh, and he has a special plan for your life. Now, very warm welcome. As we read, we have here a special a cross in front of us and it says here that we should not be afraid. I have redeemed you, Jesus says. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Wherever you go, I will be with you. Whatever may happen, I will not leave you. So let's see when we read the scripture that um, he speaks to us directly. It doesn't matter where you are at in life. Jesus is real, he knows you through and through, and he wants to be your best friend and your helper. Now, he cares about people even from a distance. You might not feel close to Jesus now, but he cares about you, whether you realize it or not. Let's read what it says here. After Jesus met with the woman on the well, he traveled on. It says Jesus left for Galilee. He himself had poured out that a prophet is not respected in his own country. So what do you think? Was Jesus respected in Galilee? No. They rejected him. But the Samaritans, they believed in him. They ran towards him. So he went on. He arrived in Galilee. The people living there welcomed him. They had seen everything he had done in Jerusalem at the Passover feast. This was because he had been there in the Passover. Verse 46 out of chapter 4. Once more Jesus visited Cana in Galilee. Cana is where he had turned water into wine. You remember the other day? A royal official was there. His son was sick in bed at Capernaum. The official heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea. So he went to Jesus and begged him to come and heal his son. The boy was close to death. Jesus told him, You people will never believe unless you see miraculous signs and wonders. The royal official said, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus replied, you may go, your son will live. The man believed that Jesus said so and he left. While he was still on his way home, his servant met him. They gave him the news that his boy was living. He asked what time his son got better. They said to him, uh, the fever left him yesterday afternoon at one o'clock. Then the father realized what had happened. That was the exact time Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. So he and his family became believers. This was the second miraculous sign that Jesus did after coming from Judea to Galilee. So this is the scripture, my dear friends. And we believe that the scripture is inspired by God when John wrote it down and Jesus really healed that boy from a distance. What is amazing here is to see that the official believed straight away. And when he believed Jesus' word and Jesus says, go back home, uh, your son will live. Exactly this hour, as the servant reported to him the next day, this is when the boy was healed. So the official believed, his whole family believed. They were not Jews, they were pagans. He was probably a Roman. 
He was not part of God's people, but he became part of Jesus' followers. And he was added to those who are saved. Do you have an experience like this, that Jesus talks to you and you believed him and he healed you and he saved you from your sin? I wish you do. I wish you could experience his love, his comfort, his mercy in your heart and you would become one of yours, just like we and many others are. God bless.